turn off the fan here. Hey, how's it going? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I got bored, and I said, you know what? Since a few of my other videos are taking a while to edit, I said, why not do something like a tier list? So, pretty much, this is how shit's gonna go. Um, this portion is gonna be my worst movie reviews, because, yeah. So, pretty much, the top of the top is Godly Awful. This is ones that, like, I wish I could get rid of, I wish I could change, and so forth. Could have been better. I mean, it's not perfect, but I have some stuff that I would really like to fix on this. Eh, it's in the middle. I like and or hate it. Passable, which means uh, kind of like the second to top one. I could change a few things on this, but you know, it's it's all right. And actually good. Things I'm actually proud of. So I'm going to go into detail about these two. So yeah, first one up. Always watches. Always watching Marvel Hornets. This movie was god awful, but I think the review was just passable. Because this movie, I had pumped myself up for so long, and I could also fix, like, some of the green screen stuff, but it was quite alright. The Enchanted Tales. I actually really liked this review because it was just the two of them, and I, <laughs> I got people to, like, look at the little kid in there and be like, Did I actually have a kid? What's going on? And it was one of the last ones before I actually put out where the Enchanted Princess one is too. Antique Bakery could have been better. It was one of it's one of my first anime reviews, but I had another anime review that I actually deleted because it was so bad. It it just was terrible. But Antique Bakery I could have done a lot better with, but I only talked about like the things in it. I could have gone into detail about episodes or like character development, but I think I tried to talk about it just like on the top of my head and when I do that a lot of the times the shit does not work psycho cop this one is the first one it is one of the first ones that I actually had to do so I'm putting it in meh because I finally got psycho cop out here's the backstory for psycho cop the first one I was supposed to make it a live commentary but I wanted to do it like how the Nostalgia Critic had done it and many other reviewers. And I said, okay, so the live review would have to be cut, and so let's just edit it. Well, I only have Windows Movie Maker at the time. And Windows Movie Maker was not going to let me do that shit. So I put that on the back burner for a long time until it was finally made. And now I'm doing that shit since. It's, uh, I'm sure I could... Like, if I rewatched that movie, I could totally, like, put some stuff in it. It would be so funny. Oh, I could try and make it funny. I can't say that. Next one. Leo Da Vinci, Mission Mona Lisa. The review I put for this was actually... It was uh, a, with three or two others. And for this one, I actually liked the review for it because... I did some funny fucking jokes. I just all around had a good time. It wasn't too bad. I actually kind of enjoyed, like, the story once I had, like, my thoughts put together. And also that I had, like, two other stories to work off of so that way it wasn't so cluttered. Rats, Babies, the movie. Um, you're passable. Because I think it was one of those ones where I didn't show my face and I just did the voice of it so it's all right it's not the worst the first disney princess again passable it's not the worst it's not the best the princess 2 this one is passable as well the christmas one i say and because i could totally do so much better with it and that it was just a christmas movie it wasn't anything spectacular like the joke was the christmas movie in july that was the whole joke the Fairies. This one is actually... I like it. I quite like it. It was alright. Moses, Egypt's greatest princess. You get to be my first hated. When I talked about this movie, it was supposed to be a ripped off, a rip off of Moses, the greatest prince, the, the actual good version. And they cut off all the good shit. 
And then they were like, Moses did this. And then they had, like, the live action. Not the live action, but, like, live, like, home footage of, like, someone going to fucking Egypt. And it's like, okay. Bratz Rock Angels. This one I like because it's the first Bratz review. And I got quite sassy with it. Killer Sofa. I love Killer Sofa. It is so bad, it's good. I love this movie. And actually, fun fact, the creator of Killer Sofa actually is subscribed to me. And a lot of people don't talk about this movie, and I really like that movie so much. It reminds me of Rubber. But we get our second god-awful one, and that's The Legend of the Titanic. Another backstory with this movie, and this has like happened to the Nostalgia Critic and other people who have like reviewed this, but the company who's like, own it who owns it has claimed so many times and it's for that stupid fucking glove sniffing scene where the dog takes the glove and fucking tuxedo mask grabs the glove and sniffs it and they want it taken off and so i tried so hard to like work around it and it would not so i said you know what fuck it i'm leaving it up here and then like it disappeared for a day and came back and they kept trying to get me to take it off and like, the Nostalgia Critic, I think he also put somewhere in his review, like, when he posted it back up, that this is the last time they're going to put it up because they kept claiming the same spot. Or they would go into, like, a claim it and, like, have to fight for the fair use of it because it's so stupidly, like, I have to fight, like, tooth and nail just to put my whole fucking review up because if not, like, it's not that I don't make money, it's just so bad. <sighs> Phantom Attacks. The movie was god-awful. But the review is meh. To be fair, just because, like, I was so pissed off at everything. And yes, pissed off Rebecca is funny, but I was generally pissed off. It wasn't like Moses or Legend of Titanic. It was more like I was annoyed. And that's why I'm meh, because I, you could also tell, because it was the last movie that I was tired, that I was doing a whole bunch of shit. Slender, if I remember correctly, it's these guys who go into this, uh, not force, but they're in a school and they contact Slenderman or whatever. Because, like, these kids are being abducted and they try and fake it to, like, scare this poor fucking mom, which they're assholes for. This is passable. This is the first one that I actually did try to do. It wasn't all that bad. It just it needed work. Attack of the Killer Donuts. Many people don't know about this review that I had, but it's also because this whole thing is meh. Like, I should have done more. I should have gone and, like, tried to make it more likable. I poked fun at, like, everything. It's alright. Nightmare on Elm Street. This is one of the earlier ones that I did. I'm still putting it could have been better because... Actually, you know what? No, it's going to meh. Because, yes, it could have been better, but for what I had, and I made the female Freddy Krueger, and I poked fun at it. Scales. My my most hated review, and that's only because the creators of this started hating it. And I also found that out through Twitter, because after Danny Gonzalez like made his thing, He even talked about how he was getting hit on this video, like, at first, and then suddenly, a wave of likes from other people. This one is actually good. I like this review. The Slender Man. This is passable. It's based on a YouTube series. I talked a lot. I think I talked about, like, what they could fix, but they did pretty good. Like, they did better than, like, Marble Hornets. They did better than Marble Hornets, but at the same time, I'm just putting them up here. Maximum Ride. Uh, I'm kind of in between because the whole Maximum Ride movie fucking sucked. Mm, I just talked over it, and I had some funny clips. This is going to be passable. It's alright. The review is alright, but I like the beginning portion. This fucking movie. Ah, ah, I wish I could have done more, but you... Or by far. Actually good. Okay, can people tell me this now? Because I'm still arguing people with this to this day after I made that review. This movie's got awful. And I'm making another mo- or video about what actually happened behind the scenes 
And guess what? There's so much shit that was not put into this whole series that would have made it so much better. Like the H2O stuff. But no, they had to be kid friendly. And not only that, people are like trying to argue with me that it's actually good because it's kid friendly. And I'm like, the thing that we did not get was so fucking better. Like, what? <laughs> and then I made the argument of like H2O versus the live action other H2O just add water and I'm like <sighs> and it was like ugh cuz I didn't put that review up here because it's like me arguing with people and you know the review was very good and well put together I just needed to if I had to say some I'd be <laughs> I, w- I want to argue with people more and people don't tell me what's good about it oh they say like all oh, these character developments are all right and I'm like what else? And that's it. They don't argue with me more. Like, hardly at all. This is the Scary Godmother review part two. Well, I reviewed the part one and part two. I actually think this is passable. The second one was really done well, but poor fucking Jimmy is traumatized. <laughs> Psycho Cop Returns. I actually like this review. I bring back the cop character. He's super sassy. This, the Secret of Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's okay. Can I fix it? Yeah. I think this is another one where I... I have never seen the original Hunchback. And there's also talk of poisoning people. Uh, Secret of Anastasia. I like it. Anastasia is a show that I grew up with. And it was actually pretty alright. Um... I like the review because it was the first of the secret series. Bratz Forever Diamonds. You can go. Wait, hold on. Bratz Forever Diamonds was the doll version of me. Then it goes here because I'm like, eh, eh, like, eh, eh. Like, I wanted to do different. I tried to do stuff different. But if people weren't catch caught up on, like, the lore, I guess, behind my show, then it's kind of like, young Hercules. You can go here. You're passable as well. I don't really have much to say, but I just realized, like, the picture here, he's, like, much more, like, wider than in the show, for real, though. This one is good. The Snow White and the Secret Mirror, or the, I keep wanting to call it Passage Mirror. It's the Secret Mirror. That one's, that was pretty good. I like how, like, the genie was, like, obviously in here, but it was a magic mirror. Speaking of genies, this one gets a passable. I want. I wanted to make more jokes, but a lot of the jokes I would either forget or I would stutter so badly that I had to be like, "You're cut out." Supernatural, the animation. Uh, this could have been better. Honestly, it could have been better. I liked the show. I really did. I liked the show, but I talked too much about the episodes that didn't have plot, or I tried to make them seem like they were all fit together when they weren't. Actually, funny enough, look at the two animes right there. Snow White. No. This is... I liked what I'd done, but it could have been better. Because I only say it could have been better because... My thing was claimed. And they wanted to have me take out so many parts. Like, they had me asking to take out, like, four crucial parts. And, like, one of them was over, like, the minute marks that they had. They wanted me to talk... Or to cut out where it was a joke where they had, like, cut it. And I was like, no, you're stupid. And then they're like, oh, still being claimed. And I'm like, motherfuckers. This one is, I believe, the the third one. I hardly remember the third one, so that's what it tells you. Because I don't remember anything. Flay. Um, again, it's meh. The characters were really, like, shitty to each other. I could have done more. I could have, like, drawn some shit. Slenderman 2018, look at what you've started. (laughs) I could have done so much fucking shit. You know that. (laughs) I'm so, like, I just thought of that, and now I'm just like, "Mm, look at what I could have done, Slendy boy. Rubber. Uh, This is passable. It's one of those movies where it's like, God... It's, like, so bad, it's funny moments. It's okay. 
the first scary godmother this one i like because it's the start of it but oh wait actually Ooh, actually what the fuck did the second one go oh god we lost the second okay it's passable this one started off the witch thing I kind of regret starting the witch ring, but at the same time, I think the animation was so clunky that it was funny. The Ronald McDonald series. Yay! All the Ronald McDonald Wacky Venture series. I like that. I talked about them pretty well. I got my point across. A lot of people enjoyed it, too. Pumpkinhead, my first review. Oh, God, my first review. We're going in the could have been better pile. I also heard um, from one of my buddies told me, like, there are, like, four others, which, um, fuck, why? I c it could have been better. Um, it was also my first one. It's, like, the Nightmare on Elm Street. It could have been better, but I don't think I had a character for Pumpkinhead. But I thought about it, and a lot of the stuff that I'm capable of doing now, like... I guess kind of affected the way that the review was going. I remember at one point I wanted to like do a cold shower scene and it didn't end up looking good. And that's what I like that still bothers me to this day. It's one of those things where because it was just me and I didn't do multiple takes that it looks bad per se. Mulan, the secret of Mulan. This one, mm, it's, it is pretty much Bugs crossover with Mulan. I'm going to put this at passable because it's one of those movies where it's like, why did you do this movie? Like, what was the point of this movie? So, I, I like, for real, I can't remember the review, but I think the review did as well as I think the Anastasia review. 13th year. I like this. People liked it. It was one of my not, I guess it was one of the controversial reviews at the time. I'm kidding. It, uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I got a couple comments saying like, nice use of anime. And I'm like, thanks. I didn't know what I was doing. Goosebumps. All first season of Goosebump. Goosebump. Goosebumps. This is passable. Some of the episodes are okay. They're not all great, but they're not all bad. So, yeah, I actually thought I would have more, like, awful stuff. Or maybe I'm just, like, biased to my own review because I, like, did it, you know? But everything's not that bad, you know? Everything's all right. Hmm, can we fix any? I'm going to say, like, yeah, Moses, the worst one ever, you know? And also, I'm just going by, like, these ones up here, because these, I'm like, eh. Antique Bakery, you know, could have been, like, a whole lot better, because it was just, like, my first anime review, and also it got claimed, but it was whatever. This one, I did, like, funny, like, point out stuff, but I only talked about, or I only had this one up here because of the backstory of, like, what fucked up. This one, I still love the, I still love the show, but, like, I could have fixed it a lot more, you know? I guess out of all the ones like that are good here, which one is my favorite? Killer Sofa. Killer Sofa, I love. Actually, hold on. Should I put it up here because it's the most controversial one? Ooh. Ooh. If we're talking controversial, ooh. Because I talked about it really well and I went in depth. And, like, people were asking about it. Nope, it's staying in actually good. Same with scales. They're going in actually good. All of these are going in actually good. So, look at my list. Actually, Homo, how many did I do I have? I think I had, like, 47 reviews in total. But 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 41, 41 reviews, because I also had to take the Goosebumps series, I think I had like five or six, so I had to, had to dumb them down, so yay, <laughs> that's my
take it on my top tier list. Because <laughs> I actually was going to make like a whole video on like my worst top tens list. But you know, I guess we could talk about this Nightmare on Elm Street one for a little bit. That one was my first claim on a movie. But it didn't last, and it's now up. Because it basically, like, the timer run down, and I was afraid, like, I was going to get a strike on my channel. But that's not how it works, young me. I also would like to bring back the Nightmare on Elm Street character, or the female, you know, like, fucking Freddy Krueger. I don't know if I will, because I do have a few ideas with that, but I also am like... Uh, you know, it's one of those things where I just gotta keep watching because I still need to do my Slender 2018 review that's been like shelved because I need to be so dramatic for it. And now that I got my new camera, oh yeah, also I got a new camera, so that's gonna be fun because my other one broke or it's like the screen shattered on it. So yeah, this was fun. <laughs> I don't know how to end this. I never know how to end the video. So I guess, bye. <laughs> ooh, ooh, so little with a 